Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for their weekly tip. And today we're actually going to take a look at how you can add a video over to your KW IDX site. So thank you for a couple people that actually um, contacted over the weekend recommending this. Uh, they gave me some information on, you know, hey, th this is what you can do on there. And I was like, that's actually very cool. So I take no credit for this by any means. Uh, about three people reached out yesterday on Saturday about this. And I was like, that is a great video idea. All right, so in order to actually set this up on here, just to share the wealth for everything, all right, all you need to do is click on the Sites section over here. All right, so we'll click on Sites. All right, and once we do that, we can actually create a custom page on here. Now, what we're actually going to do in order to add inside a video, we'll need to have the video somewhere like YouTube, for instance. All right, so YouTube, Vimeo, those are kind of the two big ones you want to utilize. All right, because you are going to need to utilize the embed code. So once you find that YouTube video, so I'm going to use this one for instance, then if I'm on YouTube, I can click the share button on here. All right, and once I click on share, it's going to give me a bunch of share options, and here's that typical share URL. But instead, I'm going to click on embed. All right, so once again, we're currently on our YouTube video. We want to embed on our site. All right, so maybe it's a property tour. Maybe, for instance, it's a walkthrough video that you just did, or maybe it's a testimonial, whatever it might be. All right, so I've got the video. I click on share, I'm going to click on embed, and here's our code. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and copy this real quick. Perfect. All right. And now back over on our site section, what we'll want to do is click on the create a new site option at the top right up here. All right, so I'm going to click on create a new site. And in order to create those pages, we're going to click on on my agent site. All right, so we're going to click on my agent site real quick. Now, once we click on my agent site on here, I'm going to click on create page. Perfect. And the one we're going to utilize on here, for the time being at least, is company profile. All right, so we're going to utilize our company profile on here. All right, and once we do that, now we can actually configure the widget. So what we want to do when we're configuring this widget, and of course, you can do whatever you want to. I'm just going to show you what I might suggest. We're going to click on the company profile. I did that quickly, so I apologize. We'll click on company profile once we click on configure widget. All right, we're going to put inside our heading on here. So what is this on here? How to set up the IDX sites. How to set up the KW IDX sites. All right, so in this case, that's automatically going to pop up here where it said about Royal Realtors. Then I can actually go through, I can delete my intro text. So I did control A. If you're on a, a Mac, it's going to be command A to highlight everything and delete it. You can change out your header image if you want to. I'm going to leave that as is. All right, I'm going to delete my section one heading. I'm going to delete my section one image. Click the trash icon. Delete my section two heading. I'm going to delete my section two text. I'm going to delete my section two image. And then of course, you can add inside a footer heading if you want to and footer text if you want to as well. Now the only thing that's required though is you have to put inside a headline. That's usually going to be the title of the video. Maybe you just want to put testimonial. Maybe you want to put the address of the property if you're doing a walkthrough, whatever it might be. And then the section one text. I'm going to highlight all that to delete it. And instead I'm going to paste inside that code that we got from our YouTube video. All right, so we went on YouTube, found the video. So we're on the video like we're going to watch it. Click the share button, select embed, Voila, we've got the code right here. So once we copy that code, paste it inside section one text, click save and apply, and look what happens. How to set up the KDI, or KW IDX sites, and here is that embedded code on here. All right, so now if I click save changes up here at the top right, all right, would you like this to publish as an agent site? This will make it visible to others. I'm going to say yes on here, perfect. All right, and I do this every time. I'm so sorry, I forgot to change the name. I always forget to change that name on there. All right, but now once we have that on here, if you notice it's not active, much like we did previously in the other tip, we're going to click on Agent Site Settings on here, at the top right. This is going to take us to the back end of our Agent Site Settings, and we'll want to look for the Pages section. All right, so when we click on Pages, we can view all of our pages in our menu bar, and we'll click on Add Page on here, and maybe I want to put inside How to Set Up, I think I'm about those two words. The IDX sites. And I'm just going to put on here, oh geez, training. I'll make it something simple for the time being. All right, in most cases, your URL for the slug will typically be the same thing as the page title. You know what? I'm going to do it. I don't want to mess you guys up. Usually it'll be the exact same as the page title. So in this case, I'm going to put how to set up 
dash the dash idx dash sites. And it's a doozy. All right, and then of course I can put inside my SEO description on here too. So I'm actually just gonna copy this from what I have over here. I'm not too, too crazy right now. There we go. All right, and then the biggest thing on here, before we click Save Changes, we can actually click on Select Page. All right, so I'm going to click on Select Page, and this is going to display any page that we've created. All right, so on here, for instance, I can see that new page I created today on October 27th. I'll click this bad boy and continue. All right, and we're good. So now if I click on Save Changes on here, data has been saved. Perfect. And if I want to spot check this, I'll go back to Agent Site Pages. All right, the eyeball on here is not grayed out. It's now that kind of dark-ish blue, kind of greenish blue. I don't know what color that is. I need to figure it out. All right, but now if I check out my site, for instance, up here at the top right, here's my menu. Here's how I set up the IDX sites. All right, and then once we do that, voila, here's our video. All right, so that's simple. So if you want to add inside any testimonials on there, if you want to add inside, geez, any you know walkthrough videos, whatever you want to do. All right, this is a little workaround. I'm sure in the near future, there's probably going to be a section on here where you can just mass add videos as well. But as a current workaround, this might help you guys out if you just want to populate your site immediately to make it a similar to your previous site that you had as well. So there you go. All right, so that is your KDB command tip for the day.